for joining me. Today we're going to do a money segment because this is a word you do not hear very often and it needs to become part of your vocabulary. It's called provisional income. So we're going to look at something like the power of zero to explain this because this is a huge concept for a lot of you. You're going to learn a lot, I promise. So let's go to 1983, all the way back to Ronald Reagan and House Speaker Tip O'Neill. They helped pass a law that would tax Social Security benefits in order to ensure the long-term viability of the program. What did you just say? Yes, your Social Security can be taxed. Surprise! This is what you need to learn about. Under this legislation, the IRS created income limits or thresholds, right, that determine whether or not your, yes, your Social Security benefits will be taxed. The types of income that contribute to these thresholds are collectively referred to as, guess what, provisional income. So we need to go further on in the power zero to learn about these types of provisional income because you need to know. The following is a list of the most common sources of provisional income. Right? Okay. So think again. Provisional income. One half of your Social Security. Surprise! Again. So one half of your Social Security is provisional income. Number two, any distributions taken out of your tax-deferred bucket. What? Yes, your IRA, your 401k, get taxed if it is provisional income. Number three, any 1099 or interest generated from your taxable bucket investments, like your savings, right? That is called provisional income. Number four, any, any employment income. So if you decide to work part-time after you retire because you're bored, right? Then that would be taxed as provisional income. So you need to get the power of zero today and learn more about provisional income or give me a call and we can discuss what that means for you. Have a great day. Take care. And remember, look up provisional income.